guys, it's Melanie with Simple Made Pretty. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm sharing how to make a magnolia garland using paper products found at Dollar Tree. Here are the supplies you need to make this project. This project was inspired by my craft with trash challenge that I'm currently hosting right now. And one of the prompts is to make something using paper plates. And so I had some paper plates from Dollar Tree as well as um, some other miscellaneous supplies. And I created these free templates for you guys that you can download at Simple Made Pretty. And so you can print them for free cut them out. Um, the one I'm using here is actually not the exact one that I give you because I do cut them so that they're a little bit smaller. And so once you have them cut, you just trace them out onto your paper plate. And there are three templates. One is the outer portion of the magnolia flower. And there's an inner portion of the magnolia flower. And then there's also the leaf. And so I traced each one of these. And I'm just showing you how to make one flower right now. Um, I did end up making six total flowers. And I ended up making... 24 total dark green leaves and when you trace this leaf on the paper you should be able to get at least four leaves per sheet of paper now i'm using cardstock that i had at home but if you don't have cardstock you could use your paper plates you can paint them green um you could also try to find some construction paper from Car um, Dollar Tree. And then I cut out all of my flowers and I wanted to make sure like a real magnolia flower is, um, it's not fat when it all comes together at the bottom. So I'm cutting mine to be, um, you know, so it's a little bit thinner in the middle. And so... Um, you could find templates for flowers like this on Cricut. Like if you have a Cricut machine, um, I would certainly have a Cricut machine and I've used my Cricut machine to make paper flowers. But for this tutorial, this was part of my challenge, like I mentioned. So I was cutting everything by hand. So I will let you guys know that it took me about an hour, maybe a little bit longer to cut everything out. Um, so I cut all of the leaves too by hand and then I actually ended up cutting eight more additional olive green leaves that are not shown here, but I do show you at the end. So just keep that in mind um, if you're trying to keep create the same length garland as me. Now for this brown cardstock, I cut, um, it's about an inch and a half wide and about four inches long. And so I cut these little strips and then I just cut little tiny strips into the strip. So you can see it's kind of like making a fringe on the end there. And then once I was done, this is actually going to be the inside of the flower. And I rolled up that little piece and you don't even need any glue or anything to glue it together. You can just roll it up. And I started manipulating it um, because the inside of a magnolia flower actually has like this brown um, ball thing inside of it. And then it has these little pieces that stick out, but they curve inward. So that's what I'm doing here is just kind of manipulating it so that they curve inward. And then I took some um, tacky glue. And I took this little mini black pom-pom. I got these from the craft section at Dollar Tree. And I glued it inside. And so that kind of gave it the, the look I was going for, for what a true magnolia flower looks like. And then what I did was I started curling my flowers and I apologize that I don't really have like a good video. I moved my hands back here <laughs> at this point, but I started curling my flowers um, with my hands. And so I kind of bent them up and I'll show you here in a second that 
um, you know, what a real flower looks like before it blooms. It's totally closed and then the petals open up. So that is what you're going to try to go for. And um, what I did do, and I'll show you here with the leaves as well, is I took a bottle of, a spray bottle of water, and you can just spray lightly um, some water on your petals, and that will help manipulate them. And so for the flower, once I had the petals bent like that, I stuck it in a cup to kind of support it until it dried. So I glued everything together and then I, I sprayed it with water and I wanted to let it dry completely. And so for the leaves here, I took this card, which you can also use a credit card, to bend and create shapes on your leaf. Okay, and then after I had everything made, I took this green burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree, and you can use any green ribbon. This is just the only green ribbon that I had on hand, and I laid it across my craft table, and I started arranging these leaves and the flowers to look and resemble a magnolia, either wreath or a garland, and usually all the leaves go in the same direction, so that is why all of my leaves are going in the same direction. And I added these little green, olive green leaves just because the backside of the magnolia leaf is an olive color, and so even though my other dark green leaves didn't have that backside, um, this little hint of olive helps to make it seem more realistic. And then I just took my glue gun and I glued everything down in place so that it created this pretty garland. And this garland looks so cute on my fireplace, but I could just see these being used in weddings. And they're so easy and so fun to make. My kids even help me make the flowers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more projects like this. Bye!